Hello my friends and welcome back to EVE Online with me Mark from Dadex and I hope you are having a very nice festive season. This video should be reaching you on Boxing Day. So I hope you had a nice day yesterday. You're continuing to have a nice time and if you've ended up a little bit stuck and not where you really wanted to be, don't worry, it'll all be okay. Anyway, the Coercer is landing on a clone soldier. I hopefully have now got him equipped to deal with it. We've got the Metaphor Guns, we've got Navy Ammo, and we're going to take advantage of the fact we've landed reasonably close. We do not have a 50, 60 kilometer run in to try to get around. So we're going to burn straight in with the micro warp drive. And I've used the approach command to turn the coerce around towards the clone soldier. But as you saw then, I double clicked just up to his left to make sure I'm not flying straight towards him. Because if you're flying straight at him, he will hit you very hard. So we are in under his guns. We can start hitting him and hopefully we're not going to take too much more damage. I'm sure we will take some more hits. We might have to pump the micro warp drive now and again just to boost our speed. But we're here exactly where we want to be. We just need to not run out of capacitor and not die. There is a mower around in system. I think he's on a site so I am keeping an eye on my D scan. But hopefully we're in. But it isn't just the ship itself we've upgraded, we have upgraded ourselves. We've learnt control burst up to level 4, we've learnt, we've learnt capacitor management up to level 4, as high as an alpha can take it. And we're now working on power grid level 4. I hope once we've learnt power grid management 4, we will not need the rig to give us the power grid to make this bit work. And then we can up the damage even more there. So between the three, Using less capacitor to fire the guns, getting more damage out of the guns and having more capacitor to start with, we will hopefully be much better off going forward. Now as you will see, I am getting through this clone soldier. I have had to fire the micro warp drive once or twice to speed myself up, increase my traversal because he's firing bigger guns at me than I'm firing at him. So I'm still hitting him well when I go fast, but he can't hit me as well. So. That was a way of mitigating the incoming damage. And as you will see, we got quite a long way down in our armour, but I never felt scared. And it really is a skill that you need to learn, guys, of just taking a bit of damage, gauging the damage that you're taking, and not dying but achieving the result you wanted, whether it's killing the rat, getting the loot, winning the fight, or you know just finishing the site, not having to go and repair and come back again. Well, I certainly did underestimate how much time it would take to get this coercer into this state in terms of skill training more than anything else. Now, of course, there are ways of speeding up your skill training, even as an alpha. So we're going to have a little talk about them. Now, we should have all during the Christmas login, even if you're an alpha, if you complete that login sequence, you will get uh, a 25,000 skill point injector and a 50,000 skill point injector. 50,000 skill points is exactly the same amount you'd get in a alpha daily skill injector which you can buy in game or you can buy in the plex store or you can just buy them for cash from the new eden store rather than going through the plex route we're just gonna have a look at our skill screen this is a few days before i recorded the video but i'm basically gonna check my skill here i'm gonna redeem 50,000 skill points from my items i really at this stage i want to get that capacitor management up to level four as soon as possible so that's the skill we're going to put to the top of the queue and use the injected skill points on but what i'm going to do before i spend those skill points is i'm going to do a little remap just to show you how they're done in case you are new to the game it's basically a way of changing your attributes so you can uh, tweak your training in certain respects and basically what I'm doing at the moment is just checking on these skills to see which attributes they require. Each skill is in a group of skills and they have a primary and secondary attribute which is most relevant to their skill points you will get whilst you're training them. So now that we've finished training a lot of those bit of everything skills at the beginning of the game I'm going to just have a look at the ones I'm going to focus on. For instance I'm not really going to be training any social skills I don't need them. The only one that's really interesting to me is probably going to be the one that mitigates your security status but I don't need to worry about that at the moment anyway. 
So I'm just checking, I think we're probably going to go for perception, intelligence, memory, and maybe a bit of willpower. I'm not going to go too particularly in any direction, but that's what I think we're going to do. So to give yourself a remap, you need to open your character screen. So first you can see all the skills I've been training there. I've been making inroads into the drone skills as well. I remember to set my home station to somewhere appropriate, not left it back where I was. Right, here are our attributes, slightly modified by some implants, plus one to perception from the ocular filter, plus one to charisma from the social adaptation chip. I've also got the implant in there for 1% extra power grid on my ship. So basically, you get one remap a year. That is what the one there with the date is, and then you get two bonus remap. Now, when we click on the remap button there, it's going to tell us that that remap is, we'll get it back again in a year. The two bonus remaps will sit there to be used as and when we desire. You do occasionally get those bonus remaps back, but they're held in reserve. You always use your annual remap first before you use the bonus ones. And all you do is just click the points on and off the attributes as you desire. So I'm going to minimize the points on charisma, and I'm just going to share them out amongst the others. Nothing too scientific at the moment, but it probably, before I start injecting any points, I guess it's worth a little bit of optimization. So click to confirm the changes. Once we've done that, the annual remap has gone, but we've still got those two bonus ones. There'll be times in the game when all of your skills are like 39 days long, <laughs> when it is much more clear how you want to remap. Right, I'm going to make sure I've got the right skill at the top of my skill tree before I inject any skill points. That's very important. We want them to go to the right place. So I'm going to get capacitor management up there at the top of the skill queue. Yeah, so you just double check that the skill you want to primary for the injection is the one that's there at the top. And let's see, that is going to save us two days, four hours and 55 minutes worth of training. So just show two days and five hours. We're going to make a note of that. That's 50,000 skill points. Bear in mind, actually, just let me make it clear that skill injectors aren't affected by your attributes. Attributes affect how fast you get the skill points, you learn the skill points, whilst you're learning that relevant skill. Injectors just inject the skill points straight in. So it's, yeah, it's not taking time off the training, it's just giving skill points. It's a slightly different way of looking at it. Because I've remapped, I, I've got less time left to learn what remains of the skill because of the learning rate, but the skill injector didn't take any more points off of it, if you see what I mean. Hopefully you do now. Now the game does offer various ways for a young alpha player to get a bit of a boost earlier on with various packages on offer. And I thought as we're looking at skill injectors and discussing such things, we take a look at what's on offer to the alpha player. I'm thinking more specifically just of the lower end introductory packages, you know, the like amount of money that you don't mind investing in the game that you found yourself enjoying, even if you don't know it's going to be a long-term investment yet. So let's have a look at those options and I'll try to figure out which one I think is actually the best value for your real world money. But before we do that, let's have a quick look just to remind you guys of this sumptuous, handsome, beautiful Stratios skin, which is up for grabs. You'll see on the screen now the four lucky winners from the last giveaway. Leave your comments down below. Anything relevant will do. Make sure your in-game name is there with your comments to be entered into the draw. And don't hang about because it really isn't going to be long before I give these prize skins out from this video and the next video with the next giveaway is up. So get in there quick. They're very good looking and I think they're still worth about 700 to 800 million isk. If you don't want to wear it, you can just sell it. I send everybody the actual code for the skin so you don't have to worry about going and getting a skin and transporting it anywhere. If your intention is to sell it, then fly your alt to Jitter and redeem the skin there. You don't have to worry about the gankers, the money will be in the bank. So good luck, look forward to reading your comments down below. Okay, the quickest way to get to the store is from the launcher really, and I'm very pleased to see a couple of days after Christmas, we've got nearly 28,000 players on at the moment, that's great. Anyway, we're gonna to go to the store which will take us straight to the featured products. Now, we're certainly not gonna be talking about 84 pound 99 platinum starter packages, no. We're gonna be looking a little more sensibly at the lower end of the market, and I actually see they've taken all the cheap packages off the front page, apart from the Yule package. Let's just have a look at that for 8 pound 49. What are we gonna get? 100,000 skill points, so that's two injectors. 
So that's four days, 10 hours worth of training. 14 days of Omega, so that's double training speed. So in those 14 days, you're gonna get kind of 14 days of extra training. That's why I'm looking at this. So all in, you're gonna get 14 extra days of training on the skill queue, plus the two and a half days-ish on the skill injectors. So not too bad. I'm not sure about the skins being value for money early on, but not a bad little package there for the money, but the problem with getting into Amiga too early, I think, is A, you're going to get used to that speedy skill queue, and then you're going to miss it, <laughs> and you think, oh no. And secondly, I think the biggest thing about Omega is not just the skill training boost, it's the access to all the stuff you can't use as an alpha. Also coming in at £8.49, I'm guessing £8.49 translates to $9.99. A lot of games seem to have a starter package at about £8.50 these days. For this £8.49, we can get ourselves 7 days of Omega, another 100,000 skill points, the equivalent of 2 injectors, which again is uh, 2 days, 10 hours. So in those 7 days we're getting double skill training, so we're going to get 7 days worth of extra training as it were. 100,000 skill points, that's 2 injectors, so that translates to about 4.5 days of skill training, so a total there of 11.5 days, plus some skins. Not as much as we were getting in effect from the Yule Star bundle because you've got 2 weeks, 14 days of Omega there. That is actually quite good value. But what I'm actually going to look at myself is the Alpha Injectors. Ten of these, half a million skill points for £6.29. So you could buy 15 here and still stay under £10. Now I'm not actually saying anybody needs to spend money on EVE at all at this stage. I'm just looking at the most sensible ways perhaps to do it. Now, let's just look at this. This is £6.29, 10 Alpha Injectors, 500,000 skill points. So we know we can only inject them once a day, but once a day we're going to get a two-day, five-hour boost to our training. On top of the skill queue, that's going to be three days, five hours a day for 10 days. So that's about what, 32, 33 days of training for that £6.29. It's going to take 10 days to get it all, but in terms of bang for your buck, this is most definitely the most sensible solution. You're going to avoid the trap of the Omega time of seeing your skill time half on your training queue, which is then going to stop after a few days. You're going to be able to inject all these skills exactly where you want them. And if you go for both of these packages, so over two weeks, over 15 days, you'd be injecting three quarters of a million skill points and you still haven't spent a tenner and you don't have to worry about seeing your skill queue slow back down you don't have to worry about even potentially training a skill that you could lose once you've lost your omega status because your skills will roll back if you go back to alpha frustratingly so i actually think the injectors are by far the best way forward if you just want to make a little package don't worry about the skins and the bling the your package isn't bad but i think Avoid all the trouble of having Omega for two weeks and just get yourself a pile of daily alpha injectors. You can buy them in game, around 40 million. So you can buy them in game when you're making enough money too. That's an option for sure. You can also buy the daily alpha injectors in the game in New Eden store for 20 plex each. Although even at these days of very, very low plex prices, you're still cheaper buying them in game than you are converting money into plex and then buying them with plex. A last comment about Plex in general, in fact, turning Amiga is um, it's 500 Plex for a month's Amiga. That is only really something you need to know if you're trying to buy your 500 Plex in game for ISK. If you're going to subscribe to the game, do not buy 500 Plex and then use the 500 Plex to buy a month's play. You want to go to Amiga tab up here. And you want to pay £11.99 for your month of Amiga if you only want one. Because it is, of course, £5 cheaper than buying 500 Plex. So don't ever buy Plex to buy your sub unless you're buying the Plex in-game. So that's my last little tip there, I think. Right, guys, I'm going to leave you for now. We're going to be back very, very soon. I've got to get busy in the wormholes. I've got a lot to do this week with these ships. 
we've got lots of money to make so leave your comments i'm going to do a, a wider video in the new year looking at eve overall and where it is is it a pay to play game is it a free to play game is it a pay to win game that question often gets asked so if your comments want to give a little bit of thought on that, I don't want to get too into the detail of that now. That will be discussed in greater detail in the new year. But for now, my friends, continue having a nice time. For those of you who have already had to go back to work very soon, or already have, then unlucky. I shall see you all in a couple of days, guys. So get your comments in for the skin giveaway. Leave the video a like if you found it enjoyable or interesting. And subscribe if you want to stay in touch. Remember to click that notification bell. To know when the next video is up but for now my friends remember even is believing take care of yourselves and each other fly brave and for now my friends goodbye